Hello everyone and welcome to this video about Siemens logo module or mini PLC. Today we will unbox the logo, we'll explore its main features and we'll get uh, our hand on the documentation and programming software to configure and program it. Get ready to explore this awesome module or mini PLC that's packed with some seriously cool features. I mean seriously, this tiny uh, controller got cloud connectivity for IoT and Industry 4.0 project. How cool is that? And don't even get me started on how easy it is to program it. It's just simple drag and drops, entering some basic information and some simple clicks. You have a program and up and running. Even if you've got minimum knowledge about programming, you can learn to implement complex tasks using this mini PLC in a short period of time. So without further ado, let's get it started and unbox the logo. So when you order a logo, that's what you get. A compact box, it's very solid and with a label on it. And apparently on the label you have some information like the, uh, the model number of your logo. In this case, I have logo 1224RC. I will explain what are different models and what are the different options for you if you want to buy one and also the firmware version and some general information such as the standard and certification that logo has and so on. So yeah, let's, uh, let's unbox this logo and see what's inside the box when you get it. Okay. All right, so I see this piece of paper and the logo device itself, nothing else in the box. So I believe the, the paper is the installation instruction. It's very quick getting a started manual, let's say. And uh, it has a lot of information that you, you need to get it started. As you can see here, the first of all, you see uh, basically the wiring diagram, how to connect the power, and also how to mechanically mount your logo on the DIN rail or on the wall and uh, whatever you want, and uh, so on. Um, apparently you can get this information on the logo manual or from the Siemens uh, support website in a PDF format uh, or just display it online or view it online. So. As you can see, Logo is a super compact controller. It's literally just the size of my, my hand. And it has a display. There is a version that doesn't have the display. And also there's a small keypad over here. There's a slot for micro SD card for, you know, kind of log in some data on it and so on. And also it has the ethernet port in it. And you, uh, you, you will use this Ethernet port to connect your logo, program it, or even uh, do some networking with it and so on. So on the top, you have the, your digital or analog inputs. And on the bottom, you have your output. And apparently the power for this specific model is the 24 volt uh, DC. There are some version that uh, accept uh, 120 to 230 if I'm not mistaken AC volts and basically there are just different range of options for you. Um, so this compact controller uh, that provides automation so solution for a small scale application. So Siemens and other manufacturer perhaps has different line of products for, um, based on the size of the application. In Siemens world this logo is for a small scale application. Um, it's like the perfect site for controlling and monitoring processes in industries like manufacturing, HVAC, building automation, and so on. I've seen very creative projects with logo, like in a barn that farmers use this for, you know, monitoring or controlling the tank level for, for the livestock and, and so on. And many other, even in oil and gas, I've seen the logos for monitoring purposes. And uh, one of the standout features of uh, this module or logo is the modular design. And um, as you can see over here, there is a slot over here that you can snap um, other modules um, to this uh, main CPU if uh, the input and output um, are not enough for you or if you want to connect to a specific network and, and so on. And this will um, allow for, you know, easily expand and customize uh, your hardware to meet your specific project requirement. 
Additionally, um, it's a user-friendly software to program. This is called uh, Logosoft Comfort. I will show you uh, shortly. Um, this software enab enables intuitive and straightforward programming. It's very easy to program a logo using um, uh, Logosoft Comfort software. But wait, what the, the, there's more. Uh, and then apparently, logo is not just a programmable relay, as the old time we call them. So this logo, as I mentioned, it has an Ethernet port. So, and you can use it and, you know, net, uh, networking logo devices and path for passing the information throughout the network. It's very easy. And um, it's like uh, connecting the dots, but even easier, I would call. Uh, in other words, on, on top of a standard digital and anal analog uh, IOs like I showed you over here, um, Logo also offers a range of communication options for different protocols uh, like Ethernet, Modbus, KNX, and even it can connect to the cloud directly with some simple instruction. I have another video that uh, I, I showed how I connected the logo to AWS cloud if you want to check it out. And it has uh, some advanced function, uh, functions, uh, you know, such as sending email alerts or push notification on the user's uh, basically mobile device in case any issues or alarm happens in your project. So I think um, I've been talking a lot about it. So let's get our hands on the documentation and then the software to see how to program it and what uh, this small yet powerful uh, module can do for us. Okay, it's me down here. Um, as I explained, Logo comes in different models and version to meet your project or system requirement. Uh, if you just search on any uh, search engine, uh, Siemens logo, you will find the main page of the Logo uh, module, which looks like this. If you scroll down, you will find more information such as basically uh, different model numbers and different type of the logo. And as you see here, logo has two main ver different main versions. The one with the display and the keypad and a uh, keypad and uh, the other one doesn't have any display or the keypad, but it still runs the same program and has the different IOs and supports the same kind of communication protocols and so on. Um, as you know, sometimes you just put the controller back into the cabinet or back into the shop and you really don't need to have the display like this one or the keypad to enter some information. So that's why uh, maybe you, you might consider getting this version of the logo uh, instead of the one that I just unboxed for you. Uh, so that's about your, the main uh, website for the logo, but apparently you can just go to the download section and read different information and so on. One of the main, uh, most important documents that um, you need to look at before doing any programming or just to get some information about logo is the logo manual and there's different version, uh, the online version and also the PDF version that you can uh, search online as well. As you see over here, uh, there are just uh, tons of information about logo and this um, manual or system manual that uh, apparently you can just go and uh, scroll on different uh, sections. Uh, for example, if you want to just uh, get, get it started off the logo, if you want to just do uh, basically installation and do the wiring, it's just tons of information basically. If you want to know what's the maximum um, setup for the logo, like what's the maximum digital input, output, and analog input or output that you can get. As I explained, logo is a modular mo uh, controller. And one of the very important um, piece of information that you need is the installation uh, or the wiring diagram, apparently. And if you just scroll down over here, uh, you see uh, if you just want to connect the power supply, apparently you, you, you need to connect um, a positive and negative to the L plus and the M. And for sure, it is recommended uh, to use the fuse based on the, your requirement. For example, for 24 volt, uh, it's recommended to use the um, 2 amp and for the AC and so on uh, for different versions. And I need to explain that Logo has a specific or particular display, it's called TDE. It's very small um, HMI, let's say, it's just 
it's not colored it's very basic for for just a basic application that you can also uh, purchase with your logo and connect to it and um, display some textual information on it and that's what it's called TDE if you if you read or look uh, see it in different places and for different uh, like for example for uh, connecting the logo inputs as you see over here based on different version there are different drawings that you can look at look into it on this manual for example for connecting uh, analog input to 1224 uh, or 24 uh, version of the logo you you need to wire it like this one and uh, and so on so you get the idea all the wiring and information you can find it um, over here and um, another important thing that I need to mention is the programming software for the logo which as I mentioned is called uh, LogoSoft Comfort on top of the main software you get some toolboxes that they are mainly free for example the logo access tool which is a add-on for Excel that you can just basically bring the logo information to the Excel and also one of my favorite is called the logo web editor it's basically an online uh, it's free free of charge once you purchase the, the hardware and the software apparently uh, you can just um, design some HMI HTML uh, HMI for your logo and I'll show you I'll show you all this in, in the hands-on in the next uh, section of this um, video so that's about the logo web editor and uh, one of the good thing that I really like when I was a student was it's the free the version of the software so apparently you can just download the free version of the software if you just want to play around with it and to see how you program it if you like it you can make that connection if you buy it you can do it over here uh, but keep in mind there is a limitation for the demo software that you can do anything other than connecting to the physical device you cannot download and it's, it's, everything is explained over here you cannot download or upload the circuit program from or to to the logo and uh, so on so just keep in mind this is very important that's what you really need to uh, get your hands on on it it's the logo system manual it has all the information you need about technical information even the applications and uh, and so on the data log if you want to do some programming it tells you all over here so yeah that's about it for this section in the next section, we'll, um, we'll go and use the, the, the software, it's called LogoSoft Comfort, and I'll show you how to do the programming. Very basic programming, of course, we don't have the time to, do, to show you how to write the logic, but I'll show you some simple example, and apparently you can use this manual and do on some other uh, searches to, to implement your algorithm for to run your or control your machine. So in this part of the video, I'm going to talk about um, the programming software for Logo, which is LogoSoft Comfort, and also another free of charge HMI, which is provided by Siemens for Logo, and it's called Logo Web Editor. Um, to do our test, um, I have a setup over here. As you can see on this picture, I have two logos, one internet switch and one laptop for doing the programming. My laptop IP address is 192.168.0.100. My first logo has the IP address of 192.168.0.40 and my second logo IP address is 192.168.0.41 and I'm using the Siemens scale and switch for connecting all these three Ethernet devices together. So after you install the software, as I explained before uh, from the Siemens website, uh, the LogoSoft Comfort uh, icon will appear on your desktop. If, if you don't have it there, just search in your start menu. And please keep in mind, the newer version of the hardware are not available in the older software. So in other words, if you have a new hardware of the logo, make sure you download the latest uh, version of the LogoSoft Comfort, which is version 8.3. So let's just open um, the LogoSoft Comfort and see how does it look like and how you can do quick programming in it so as you see here there's a big area in the middle for uh, basically inserting your instruction and implementing your logic 
and uh, I should mention that Logo supports ladder logic and also function block diagram programming languages. I personally like the FPD in Logo, but if you are an electrical engineer or electrical technician, you prefer ladder logic, feel free and um, you can switch into the different programming languages. So on the top, uh, similar to any other software or the um, IDE, you have the menus like file, edit, and also some shortcuts uh, for doing some tasks such as running and stopping the logo and so on. On the left side, you have the instruction bar and also a diagram which kind of summarizes what devices you have in your project. There are two tabs over here and I really like the network uh, project view because in this case, in this example, I'm going to show you a network project. I switch to the network project. As you see here, by default, I have an icon for my laptop. And the IP address, as I mentioned, is 192.168.0.100. And all I need to do is uh, adding a new devices. If I have one, two, hundred or whatever, logo i need to list it over here to be able to communicate between um, devices so i just simply click on add new device i have a logo version 8.3 and i just call it logo underscore one and the ip address for my first logo is 192.68.0.40 as i explained And uh, I will add another logo. I will call it logo underscore two. And the IP address is 41. Okay, that's really it. And um, because um, in this um, dem demo, I want to be able to send information between these two logos over the Ethernet network. That's why I added them both here and I prefer to switch to this view. Okay, and I drag and drop this tab over here. This is a very cool feature in uh, Logo Soft Comfort software because you can do the programming for your uh, basically two logos over here at the same time. And you can download different programs to different PLCs or logos at the same time. And uh, yeah, so the first thing you wanna do after inserting your hardware just go right click, go to properties, and you will have two uh, groups of setting, let's say. One is offline setting, at which you don't really need to, can, to be connected to your logo for changing them. But after you change them, you need to do a download to apply the settings to your hardware. And the second group is the online setting, which you have to be connected to your logo to change them. So. Offline settings are, for example, as you see here, the hardware type, if I'm going to change it to a different version of the logo, the older version, but I have the newest one, so I select that. The I.O. setting, a uh, very cool feature of the logo is you can change the logo uh, inputs mode between some of them, not all of them, to a digital input and analog output. So one pin supports both of them at the same time, and you can select them over here. And uh, you can define names for, for your inputs. Instead of referring to, let's say, I1, you can just call them a start, a stop, and so on to use them in your program. And you can set up a password for your program uh, for some higher security for sure. And also you can define what to show on the display of the logo when the power is on. And normally it's date and time. And uh, this is message text for the TD display, as I explained before. Some other information of, related to your project and uh, so on. Another important topic, that's a very different video maybe I can create later for basically defining the address space of your Modbus for your uh, logo. So let's go to the online setting. As I mentioned, you have to be connected to your logo um, to connect it, you just enter your IP address here, do a connect, and as you see here, I am connected now. And the first thing, so right now I'm connected to Logo, I'm reading the information in real time. So that's my firmware version. 
If I want to change my IP address, I can do it here. I can set my clock and basically change the operating mode if, if uh, it's a slave or master and so on. Okay, apparently uh, you can just wipe out everything in your logo and many other uh, settings that you can see and you can go over them yourself. One of the very important thing here, which I explained in a different video, is the cloud transfer setting. If you want to connect your logo to the cloud, you need to do some settings over here and uh, define the, your endpoint of the cloud and so on. So that's about it for the setting. What I'm trying to achieve here. So first of all, I will try to is use two digital inputs on logo one and basically turn on and off uh, the outputs on the same logo. Secondly, to show you how easy it is to basically transfer data over Ethernet between uh, different logos, um, I want to use the inputs of logo one to turn on, on and off the inputs or, or sorry, the outputs of logo two. You can be creative and write your own uh, program and implement different tasks based on your need. So let's, let's write a program to use two inputs maybe and command two outputs accordingly. I should mention that Logo supports two different programming languages. Uh, it's um, ladder logic if you have electrical background maybe you like ladder logic more uh, and also um, SFV or function uh, function block diagram uh, this is the function block diagram which I personally prefer for programming the logo because my background is electronics and software so yep that's how easy it is basically you just drag and drop so I just connected the I1 to Q1 and I2 to Q2 in logo 1. I can do the same thing in logo 2 and so on. So as I mentioned, I want to do another thing. You have another function is called a group of functions is called network. So I'm going to have one network input, or maybe two network inputs. And I want to connect them to other logo to network outputs. That's the magic. Look. So, oops, sorry, accidentally. Another one. Okay. So you don't really need to do any setting or programming and insert any function. Just drag and drop from the first logo to the second one. And the software automatically connects everything behind the scene okay so what does that mean so i just connected the input of logo one to output of logo two with just simple drag and drop so let's do a quick download okay so right now your project is just in your laptop you haven't transferred them to your logo to do that simply you can just come here Make sure you select different programs. So if I select this one, I wanna transfer my program to 192.168.040. You can just simply go, go come over here and select this icon, or you can go to the tools, transfer PC to logo. Okay. I always like to do a test before do a download. So I just go here. Okay, okay. Just looking at my logo. Okay, now I'm going to my second logo. This one is 41. Do a test. Connection is okay. And let's do it download. Okay. When it does the download, uh, basically um, switch the operation mode to stop and then at the end you can just switch it back to the run when the pro program is in a stop mode it doesn't execute any functions or any, any logic basically it has to be in the start mode 
So as you see here, you can see if the, your logo is in the stop mode or in the run mode. So I'm just going to quickly test because I have the setup over here. So unfortunately I cannot show you, but maybe I can try. So this is my i1. So the switch on the top is my i1 and this is the Q1. And as you see here, when I click just over here, an i2 is connected to Q2 and so on. Okay. And uh, another thing maybe I, I, I can show you as I explained, logo has a display or HMI, local HMI is called logo TDE. And that's how it looks like. It's a very basic program, uh, sorry, HMI, has the power supply over here and also ethernet ports. Uh, so it's basically, it's a monocolor textual dis display. If you wanna have it on you, the, um, basically the door of your panel to show some information and some basic, basically visualization, you can, uh, you can use um, this device. As you can see, the rest is just uh, implementing your logic using the existing instructions. As you, here you have the timers, on delay, off delay, you have the counters, analog processing, and uh, many other functions that you can just find the details in the help system and also in the logo system manual. Another uh, thing I want to show you as I explained, logo comes with uh, free of charge uh, HMI. It's it's based on the HTML and it's web based and it's called the logo web editor. So let's see how it looks like. Okay, so in other words, so that's a program I had it previously. In other words, uh, you can um, add some buttons or graphical objects um, to the screen. You can have um, basically the trend view can have a gauge view, a slider, and also, you know, the bar graph and, and so on. And you can connect these to your uh, physical hardware. So basically you can have this HMI and uh, you can control your logo and monitor the current status of your logic and uh, basically your process overall. That's a very neat feature. Uh, make sure you take advantage of it because it's free of charge. And the last thing I want to show you is the web server of the logo. So if you enter the IP address of your logo, you will see the web server of the logo. This is, this is very neat. As I said, logo is uh, equipped with the Ethernet port and you can just basically connect them. And uh, I just want to remember the IP or the password that I put for this logo. That's a good practice. Let's see how I can change the IP or sorry, the username and password for my logo if I forget that. So to do it, I just go to my logo soft comfort software. I go to transfer. Logo to PC. Okay. Okay, so what I wanna do, I just wanna go to the setting of my logo and I wanna go to online setting. Okay, I wanna go to access control setting. Okay, and here I can uh, basically define how to get control of the logo when I enter the IP address in the browser or any other software. So what I wanna do, so the first of all, I just come here, say the web editor, web server access is clicked. I wanna make sure. And uh, if you wanna access this through the logo web editor, you can define the password over here. And okay, let me just change the password. 
okay as you see here i just changed my password so i just enter my password as you see here you have the you can monitor the status of your device the ip address the firmware version and so on and uh, of course over here on the left side you have different menus one of the cool features is you can just uh, monitor the status of your variables in the program or your IOs uh, through this web server. So what I'm trying to do here, I just go to monitor the values. See here you can just add variables and you can just select if you want to monitor your digital inputs, your digital outputs and so on. And uh, yeah, basically as you see here, I'm just triggering the I1. Just watch over here. So you see here, I'm just uh, switching the I1 and the Q1 is uh, basically uh, switching on and off because of our program. Similarly for I2 and Q2. You can just add your other variables and so on and basically monitor them. And um, I believe that's the, all the topics that I had for you for Logo for today. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please feel free to comment and uh, connect um, with me directly if you have any question. Also, don't forget to connect your sales representative, a uh, Siemens sales representative if you want to purchase and uh, get more information about the Logo and the software and the hardware. And uh, yeah, until the next video, have a great day or not.